Hey guys, Paul and Jess here. Uh, just gonna talk to you about a couple things we are got going on at the gym and uh, kind of some things you can look forward to uh, coming up in the near future. So we just wrapped up our overhead squat cycle. We had a lot of people really set some awesome PRs and make some great progress on their lifts and their movements. Uh, so we wanna go over with you kind of what we're gonna go into next, what you can look forward to in the coming weeks of uh, training here at Elysium. So the cycle coming up, uh, we're not focusing on any one specific movement. Uh, we're kind of changing up uh, the style a little bit and now we're going to be focusing a little bit more on uh, a certain aspect of your fitness, specifically endurance and then even more specifically strength endurance. So some of the biggest changes you'll see uh, aren't huge, we're still going to have the big strength focus that we normally have, just now the kind of the rep, scheme is, rep schemes are going to be changed up a little bit to kind of help focus more towards helping build endurance in your strength movements and then having that transfer back into uh, better Metcon times and better lifts. The biggest thing that you'll see in that strength cycle is going to be the squat days. So Monday and Thursday this week and then Tuesday, Friday and then it alternates every week so that way if, you're not, if you can't always make Mondays you're not always going to miss your squats. Uh, ideally we want you to make all the squat days uh, and because the squat days are going to be extra fun. There's going to be a lot can of you, high reps. Can you make them up? If you, you miss, miss your squat days, yeah, even though you can't make it because uh, of work or you just got an awesome uh, quinceanera to go to, you can make it up the next day, just grab a rack and you can totally make up your squats. And then the other strength days, you're going to be a little more of a focus on higher reps. So the only lifting days, you might see uh, a lot more higher rep complexes because the person that, you know, if you can back squat, you know, 250 for 20 reps, front squat 200 for 15 reps, you know, Fran's going to be a whole lot easier, Karen's going to be a whole lot easier. And then if you can rep out, you know, high rep, high rep complexes of, you know, 85, 90% of your one rep max, then workouts like Grace or Isabel or things that involve higher rep, uh, ollie movements are going to be uh, drastically easier for someone that has that little bit of a, of a slight focus. All right, so we are currently in the middle of our healthy eating challenge. Um, everyone is doing great. We have 40 uh, Lyceum members signed up and partnered up. Uh, everyone is entering their information into the Google Doc, uh, motivating their partners. I'm seeing a lot of good teaming going on, keeping people on track. Uh, most people seem to be sticking to their goals, so good job. Uh, and I'm excited to see all of the um, gains and body fat losses and um, overall performance here in the gym at the end of the six weeks uh, healthy eating challenge and to see all the winners. So towards the end of the health eating challenge and kind of the end of the cycle there's going to be the cross open is going to be happening again this year just like it does every year in the springtime. Uh, like always we'll be hosting uh, our open workouts on Sunday mornings where it's a chance for the entire gym to come together and kind of compete together you know against the rest of the world of or the wide world of exercisers um, you know it's a little bit different than it might have been two three years ago where you know the average gym isn't looking to send people to regionals to the games uh, the open really isn't about that for the normal kind of a box goer uh, the thing that I really like about it the most is that it kind of gives everyone a chance to see where they stack up against the rest of the world because again remember the rest of the world isn't going to go to the games so it's a really cool chance to kind of put your name on this giant whiteboard that is the rest of the CrossFit gyms around the planet. And it kind of can be really fun to see where you stack up in the different workouts because every week's going to have a different challenge. And it's cool to see that, you know, some people might end up placing and doing a lot better on a certain workout that they would have thought, you know, they'd be terrible at. And there's no way they'd actually beat anyone else in the world. Uh, but you'll actually see like a fun workout that always comes up as the double under workout. And, you know, because here at Elysium we don't sub double unders, we make you actually learn them. Uh, a lot of our people actually end up doing really good on that wor the workout because they're not forward being forced for the first time to actually learn them. They actually end up placing a lot better than they might think they would. Um, or if you're <coughs> new to Elysium and you haven't even gotten a double under, I see a lot of people get their first double under in the open type setting. A lot of people get first uh, double unders, first handstand push-ups, muscle ups. It's a it's a yes. great community event and it's very exciting. Uh, so I would expect to see everyone here on Sunday. Yeah, we want to have as many people as possible sign up. Uh, just like Jess was saying, there's so many like kind of first time events during the open, whether it be pull ups, chest to bar pull ups, muscle ups. Uh, it's really cool now that HQ is putting uh, strength events into the open. Mm -hmm. uh, and different be, levels. 
Because it used to be all one. Yeah, now you can now scale you can workouts. Scale. So even if you know, if you can't do everything RX, you can do a scale, the scale modifications. You see what and scale. it's a lot more inclusive now, now that the way HQ is doing it. So we'll be kind of hosting those special events on the weekends, and we want absolutely everyone uh, to sign up for that. So yeah. that way we can especially see kind of the benefits of uh, you know the program that we're going into. Uh, with the more dialed in nutrition for a lot of people and then the changed up strength training kind of focusing on prepping you for those kind of a little bit tougher, a little longer, a little more endurance based kind of classic CrossFit workouts mm -hmm. that HQ puts out, puts out for the Open. And I would suggest uh, going on uh, games.crossfit.com and signing up and joining the Elysium team. Uh, it's just fun to get everyone together, um, get your score logged in and see where you fall out within your own gym. Um, it's only 20 bucks. It's worth it. I would definitely yeah. log on and get yourself signed up. It's pretty easy. If you have questions, ask Paul or I. We can help you out. Yeah, we've already got a couple people signed up, so go ahead and uh, create a user account. Super easy. Uh, and sign up and get on the team. Yeah.